president. All right. I love introducing the president because Amen. I'm putting her in place of being in the White House, stepping on, through okay. whatever. Right. Right. Okay. This is our president, Marjorie Malcolm. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lady Gilmore. Thank you for that tremendous introduction. Uh, I'd like you to meet my board. This is Michelle Rudolph. This is our recording secretary and Miss Elaine Vance, Aye. the parliamentarian and past president Amen. of the organization. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the invite. Isn't that something? Present president. Yes. Past president. Present recording secretary. Yes. Correct. And yours truly. We're showing our young people, my sisters. That's right. Yes. We all can work together. Mm -hmm. e uh, Elaine, I call her Madam Big Sister. <laughs> she may not be president anymore because it's in the past, but yet working with the current president. Absolutely. And that's the message we want to send because that's what Mary McLeod Methuen was yes, all about That's everybody right. working together. Mm -hmm. I brought this book because it's the legacy in the Gilmore household. All my grandchildren have to read this book. And when they found out about the dollar fifty cent, Madam President, <laughs> they asked me, can they buy a school a building for a dollar fifty cent? Right, that is Isn't no that more. No, no more. You more. have to plant that seed, Sister yes, you Michelle. Do. Yes, you do. We have to plant it so they can take the baton and pass it on. But we have so much to talk about today. Let's give our audience a history lesson of the National Council of Negro Women. Well, you know, National Council of Negro Women will be. 80 years old this year. It was founded by Mary McLeod Bethune in 1935. She was an educator and uh, she wanted this to be an organization of all organizations. Mm -hmm. And now it's a nonprofit voluntary membership service organization with 34 national affiliates and 250 community based uh, affiliates as we are the Western Reserve section. And we have an outreach of over four million women over in Africa, all over the world. This is a national organization. Um, Ms. Finch, you can tell them about our mission. I don't want to take over the show. <laughs> our mission is to help women, children, homeless, uh, there are many, many venues that the National Council of Negro Women uh, serves. Uh, there are three sections here in Cleveland. We are Western Reserve, there's the Cleveland section, and there's Cuyahoga County section. And we also have a life member section. Uh, Mary Hill Jones is our uh, chairperson for the Life Members Guild. And we raise funds to support the different organiz other organizations. Uh, Christmas and, you know, uh, we did a, a decorating of a homeless shelter for the women. You know, so it's always something for you to do for everybody to fit in. There are three presidents in each section. You have the president, the first vice, the second vice. Oh, you got four. You know, your third vice, which is over the youth, which is Michelle. And um, Michelle, you want to? Yes. Um, the National Council of Negro Women um, has many initiatives, and one of the initiatives is, is educating, uplifting our youth. Um, we support social justice. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to teach our young people, and especially our young women, we want them to be educated, because that was Mary McLeod Bethune, that was her goal, was to educate black women. That's how she started out, educating women. She started with just four, four students, four women. So um, her message is that she wants to make sure that the women are uplifted in that way, the families are uplifted. But as time goes on, you know, we have many more problems. The problem has changed. So now we have social justice that we need 
to in integrate our children, to make them learn how to not only speak for themselves, but fight for themselves. So we're trying to recruit uh, young women in colleges. We're trying to recruit young women in high school. And we're even going into the elementary school. The elementary school, we're going to try to teach them a little history. So we're adopting a third grade class. So that's the start off with the oh, young ones. Oh, nice. Yes. Third grade class. Yes, in Warrensville. That's Ohio. a good, great start, third yes. grade. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yes. but we do have a larger venue because we have adopted the Cleveland School of the Arts Lower Campus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. wow. Yes, the yeah. Lower Campus. So we are really starting young to let people know about the council and what we really stand for. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's great to start young. Yes. Because we can... They're, they're like sponges then, yes. soaking mm -hmm. in, and we can nurture them, nurture them, get them molded, and pass it on. And when they go to the fourth grade or go home, you know what I mean, Madam President? They can share. They can share. They can share. Mm -hmm. now, now, was this derived out of a need for, for, for black women to be treated equally, or is it something more than that? I would say it started out as such uh, with Dr. Bethune. She had a special relationship with Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay. So that's how she was able to get into the White House and rub shoulders with all of the Caucasian women. Okay. And she attended many affairs with Eleanor Roosevelt. And uh, there was Dorothy Height. There were two presidents in between. Uh, yeah, uh, Miss Morgan and Miss Freeby. Correct. Okay, so this wasn't necessarily a, a, a situation where you're trying to become a, a independent black woman. We were always independent. He was always independent. All right. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. All right. Oh yeah. Oh boy. So, so <laughs> it was a, a chance for with equal rights or. Uh, it, was, it was a way to, a way to get in the door to help other others. women that could not uh, help themselves, you know. And that's what Mary McLeod Bethune wanted to do, and she did okay. by starting this organization. And then after it went so long, she stepped aside and let the other presidents come in. Then when Dorothy Height came, Served fifty six years. Yes, that's a long time. That's a long. Now, now, where are you guys located? Where, where are you uh, gathered? We are at the Maple Heights Library, fifty two twenty five Library Lane. We meet every fourth Saturday of each month. Okay, okay. Maple Heights, Ohio. And Maple Heights, Maple Ohio. Heights. Ohio. Yes. Okay. And it's, did it so? Did this start here in Cleveland, or was it? It's all over. Where did it oh. derive? What, what what city? Washington, D.C.? Uh, no, they were in New York first. New York. Oh. They started in New York. Okay. And okay. then they moved the headquarters to D.C. We are the only female organization in the world wow. that is on Capitol Hill at 633 Pennsylvania Avenue, and we own the building. Y'all own the building? Yeah. We own, own the building. building. We own it's the building. And again, they own the building. We own, own the, the building. It used to be the Sears Tower. It used to be the what? The Sears Tower. The Sears Tower. Yeah, the real Wow. Wow. So this organization is is has lobbyists and oh yeah and, oh yeah and oh. Everything. everything everything everything. Um, I think um. But the, uh, Mary Cloud Bethune, it came out of a need for um, economics for black women to um, now to get a job, to learn how to read and write. Because she started with, with with a school to teach them how to read and write, so they can get a job and take care of their families. Well, now, you know what, you know, but you know, she she did all that hard work, and now in 2015, do you all feel that it was a mistake? Well, of course not. No, absolutely. Well, not. Right. absolutely. No, no. No. We are how, still how, how advocating. I don't understand the question. Well, well, I mean, now we have these young children out here killing each other, and and mama's not at home to take care of them. She's she's a working class woman now. She's trying to be equal to the man, equal to the white man, equal to the you know. And now our children are are are, 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 are ramping the street. It is. It's not new. It happened in the thirties, forties, fifties. All, all, all through our history, where the it's black woman had to go to work, had to go to work, and it's not just the black woman; it's mm -hmm. women. It's women. Yes, true. 
Okay, wait. Well, it says a council of Negro women, so I'm figuring. Well, I'm, right. saying, I'm yeah. saying that situation is just isn't just for black it's women. It's not just a black, black thing. Okay, it's not just a black. Thing. No. no, no, because we help the Caucasian woman also. Okay, okay. Well, well, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that you know, uh, you all have an organization that's helping one another out. Mm -hmm. What other things do you do in in regards to helping? Uh, the the different issues that uh, African American or, or Negro women have. I mean, because they have a lot of them. Well, well, yeah, yeah, we have. But you know, right now we're working on health issues. You health. know, it's okay. health, health disparities. This is health. There's right. a okay. lot of reasons why people of African American descent they don't have health care. A lot of it's economics. Some people don't even know where to go to even start to get help. To get health care. Mm -hmm. okay. And then that's what we come Well, in. that's what Obamacare is there for, right? Yeah, but there are so many people that are not aware that I can go and get some Obamacare. Okay. And Obamacare is very new. They law and whatever, and they still, some don't. You have to really talk to them, teach them, take them by the hand. Take them by the hand. This is where you go, and mm -hmm. you know what said? Oh, I didn't know. Right. That's what this we're is, here for. This is the care that you need that will keep you healthy so that you can take care of your babies. You know, what about what about teaching them how to make nutritious meals and, and eat healthier? I mean, we as a people have had such a a man, a history <laughs> of hog mog and, and pig feet and, and all this he called it the good stuff. stuff. <laughs> good good stuff. Know, the collard greens and when are you, when are we gonna teach um them, us, me, to eat more health I mean, is that one of your things you're doing too, uh, is, uh, is educating? Because you're the educating one, so right? So talk this. to me. Talk take to that. Me. Well Pastor, every month at our meeting, we have someone come and speak to the membership and the community, um, and they're expert in their fields in, in on different issues, um, health, um, nutrition, um, what and what affects the African American community the most. At mo that's where we target the most. Yeah. Go ahead. We have had each year um, a program called Soup. And scoop. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Soup and scoop. This is where the soup is the meal and the scoop is issues. We just had. Um, so it's not ice cream. Oh no! No no no! no, 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 no. It's not no. ice cream. Yeah. Soup and scoop. <laughs> soup and scoop. Miss Vance, you derive soup and scoop, so Well, I can't take all the credit for it because Lady Gilmore, as you know, my mother <laughs> was the one. She said we need to get together. She was the chaplain for the group. And she said that the, I'm like, soup and scoop. Mm -hmm. The scoop is the information of the day to broaden the mind. And the soup was to nourish the body. Mm. And our first shero that was honored at soup and scoop was Judge uh, Harper, mm. Judge Sarah Harper. Yes. And yes. every year now we have it and someone is honored and there is a speaker. Mm -hmm. And we are taught something else, or that person comes in and she will speak. Okay. And our first one we had over at uh, New Jerusalem, everybody fixed soup, and we bought the salad and everything, and we ended up going from table to table to table to table, tasting each other's soup. Okay. And we overflowed New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. over on miles and we had to move on again yeah. and then we moved on again so this year we were at Harvard Community Center okay. and okay. Uh, Marjorie had the idea that let's not do it where we're preparing okay. the soup you know it's cold winter cod you know right, right, right. and so we had Rosie and Rosie the caterer did it and she okay. did a wonderful fantastic, fantastic job fantastic. healthy fantastic meals um, there were four was very nice and yeah. I, and our speaker and was um, mm -hmm. so yeah. speaker I, was um go ahead our speaker was um um a lady Reverend who talked Patrina Patterson who talked Reverend about, Patrina who talked about breast cancer yes yeah, Amen. She did it. Amen. yeah she's a breast cancer Amen. specialist from University Hospital well let's talk politics well before well, we, we talk, talk politics okay. we cannot right. endorse a candidate Thank and you. we have many Politicians in our organization, but you can't endorse. We no, we do endorse. not no. endorse. Oh, we can't support. 
Okay, you can support. But not as a, indoors. So, so, not as National Council. So then uh, Michelle Obama can't come to the National Council of Negro Women and say, I need you all yes. support. And she, you have to tell no, her. No, we can give her our support. We can mm -hmm. support, but we do yeah. not endorse. endorse. As an organization, there's yes. a difference. Endorse. Yes. How, many, how many members belong to this organization across the country? Oh, <laughs> over so three million. million. Over three million. Three million. Oh, three million. Million. Yes. Million. Million. Three million. 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 And y'all ain't y'all and y'all not lobbying for the uh We work in it, but not under the auspices of National, National Council. Council. Okay. Yes. That's a big difference. We do yeah. have a sister have in judges. our organization yeah. that is well, sure. running mm -hmm. okay. for uh judge okay. in Bedford. Okay, in Bedford. We yeah. support her, but we cannot endorse her. Okay. Yes. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Uh, Deborah is a member. Yes, but Deborah is. Yeah, but we can pass out her literature. Okay. Uh, we ain't going to have this pen on. Right, This right. is NCNW, WRS. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be out there with this on. Okay. And we're not going to have on anything that says National Council. Right. You right. know, many of us belong to BPAC. You know, Black uh, Women's Political BPAC? Black but Women's Political Action Committee. Okay. okay. We can work it under yeah. that. Okay. Because you have the same judges, the same lawyers, same uh, council persons. They're in National Council of Negro okay. Women. And when they ask, you know, uh, can you help me do this? Can you pass out mm -hmm. literature? Can you knock on doors for me? This is what we do. Amen. We help our sisters. Amen. But we cannot support them. Amen. And it falls back to education too, Pastor. Mm -hmm. When a person comes into our organization, they are given a packet. The, okay. the different people sit down mm -hmm. and we educate them because this was the main thing. If you look back over some of our pictures that we emailed you a couple weeks ago, you'll see the different activities that we have mm -hmm. experienced in helping others. Okay. Because one of the things why I have my children read the book that Mary was picking cotton. When a stranger, see that was an angel came up to mm -hmm. her, came to visit, picking cotton. And we need to let our children know as we adopt in these schools, 1935, they picked cotton. They did not do texting okay. and video yeah. games. Yeah. And they came where she was. And the stranger was a teacher. Mm. And she wanted to teach her how to read. That's right. Because her family didn't read. So she, she was could the only not, child yes, in her family, family that, that went to school that read. The only, yes. But they had she One had to give permission mm -hmm. from her her parents to, go to agree school. to let Mary go to school, mm -hmm. and that's why our organization we we tell them go to school. Could you imagine in 1935, coming up through 1940? Depression and all that time, but another angel came to Come see on. about her. Come on, President's wife, Eleanor Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. That's right, hand in hand, and put this black woman took her to the White House. Okay, she did. can you believe that back wow. in, that, in 19 that, and that, in the 19th? And, and so, and so, would you consider that um, the council has come? A mighty long way, or has it a lot more work to do? They've come a mighty long way, and still a lot of work to do. Work and you know, to. this is why we educate women of African American descent. Because when you went to school, you went to work. When the woman goes to school, and she knows, she spreads it all through the family. She teaches her daughter. She teaches the son everything she knows. So you educate the woman because she gonna spread the word that's a that's a broad brush that you use okay no, president okay, <laughs> no, no. okay now let me go back I, i'm looking you at the young girls school. out here now and mama ain't <laughs> taught them anything this is a that you guys are are able to teach you know the, the media the media is. the media would have you to believe that because that's who they highlight. But we have young women who are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Magnificent. Things. Yes, we do. And also, you you have to remember the ones they're highlighting. Um, they had a, it was a crack epidemic. They it, they're the children of that. So mm. so they, a lot of those people didn't even even graduate from high school. So that's not totally true. You only see a few. We can bring some women in here, uh, lawyers, oh, sure. engineers. 
and they're and they're very young women. Sure. Mm-hmm. So so you mean the, this this stereotype is something that has been perpetrated or portrayed by ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN. MSB, the media. You're saying it's the media that has betrayed this. I'm just saying. Are you sure about that? Not no, all media. No, just right. the media. I'm no. Not, no. Okay. no. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I'm just saying it's a small number compared to the masses. Okay. I'm saying the majority of, of the black women are not the ones you describe, but how, not take care of their children. In how, the does the council, how does the Council of, of Negro Women, the National Council, and the local council here, how do you reach? What is your evangelistic arm? How do you reach these these women? I the sent them a soup and scoop. We invited the neighborhood. Okay. Come on in. Okay. We have good news for you. We go in we're about to go into the schools. And when mm. once you reach the children, you're reaching the parents too. Because when you invite the children to be a part of our youth section, we want your mothers and, and probably your fathers because you can be one of our associate members too. Okay. You know, we bring you all in. Now we're going to tell you all about the National Council of Negro Women. Okay, and how it can help them to Absolutely. fill in the blank. Absolutely. Fill in the blanks. When you teach them, they'll know. Okay. If we don't teach them, what can they know, Pastor? Right. And we have wonderful young people in our organization and I never will forget I was at one of the meetings and one of our young girls I noticed during the meeting she started buttoning up her blouse yeah yeah, yeah. she looked around yeah. and seeing the rest of us mm-hmm. that cleavage and mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. What, no well, one wonder. said anything and it is true assimilation come on come on and she looked and she buttoned up her blouse Amen. and then I saw her start taking off Different you know, things. These mm-hmm. big old huge earrings, you mm-hmm. know, they came on. Okay, well, that's okay. That's that's, that's some outward right. appearance yeah. thing. Someone yeah. has to instill it. Right, right, right. Instill, you, you instill, have to. instill. And, instill. And in this organization, um, the foundation um, is, is, is a Christian foundation because we pray before we start the meeting mm-hmm. and also we pray for each other. Mm-hmm. We support each other. We care when we show that we care about that we call each other. So we're teaching them that we care about you, and we care about what happens to you, to these young women. That's mm-hmm. what we're telling them. And that's what we're trying to, sh- we don't tell them that, we show them. As tell me a success story. Hmm. Tell me, Shaquita come in there, and now Shaquita's a, what, how, how is Shaquita doing, Lady Gilmore? What is that young? Shaquita's in college. She, she's Hello. in college, okay. Hello. She went to college. Come on, my sister. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Because, um, but, but see, we have well. to take it, we take the concept from the black and white papers, books, we mm-hmm. take it from there. Now, we are ready to put it into action. Shaquita is, you right, my sister. She's she in college. in college. She on the dean's list because we are mm-hmm. reaching young ladies that no one in the generations of the family is have been on welfare assistance, no high school education, daddy walked off a long time ago and sweet Willie is sliding through the door. Mm. So we are teaching them, you need to learn, come and sit with us. They sit at Jesus' feet to be taught. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And these young ladies come in and we mentor, we take one, we all have different ones that we sit down oh, and so you mentor. mentor. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. oh, absolutely. I've been mentoring. You teach one, you reach one. Amen. Um, I've been mentoring for at least 25 years. Um, I have a, my own mentoring program, uh, Sisters and Friends, um, the, and actually the friends are men. I, I, I'm then boys. I have boys I've mentored. I've been into the schools community for years. Wow. It's not just a one-time thing. So I've been in Boys and Girls Club. Um, now I'm, And now we're trying to adopt a, a, a third grade class in um, Warrensville. I'm very excited about that. And also we're going to do something with the Boys okay. and Girls Club. Now I'm going to get down and dirty. So those are easy questions. Mm-hmm. Now here go the hard questions. Y'all ready? Okay, we ready. I, I is love y'all that. Ready? Is y'all I, ready? I didn't tell y'all about Pastor's energy. <laughs> uh, 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 so we have to on. have hey, that you, male. You do okay, Easy Radio. People want to know. No, yes. People want to know. What do you teach them about sex? So that would be Reverend Patrina Patterson. Okay. She will go there. Okay. Yeah, she and does. we've had. She is a member of our section. 
and uh, Reverend Patty will take you there. Take you there. Okay, okay. But yeah. you know, when you talk about sex, you talk about, well, uh, teach the boys to use the condom. Why not abstinence? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, okay. Abstinence. Okay. Okay. But, but we're talking about behaviors more than sex. Sir. Okay, behaviors. Yeah. All right. That's, that's, we're entering more than the behavior. You know, yes. how do you carry yourself? Yes. How do you want your husband to choose you? Not necessarily, this, you know, the sex. And we're hoping that, you know, the parent, you know, we, there's a line there because the parents teach them sex. Well, well you know, we know. Yeah. We, so, well, but, but we're trying well, to we let know them they're know. not. We, we, we know they're not. But we're trying to not only uh, show them how to behave and um, how to live a clean life. And, again, we, we're Christian women. But then you're still telling the boys, pull your pants up. Okay. Tell the girl, is this really what you want? Pull that skirt down. Mm -hmm. You're showing too much. You know, give somebody something to wonder what's up under Some that skirt. Okay. You know? And, and what class is this? Life. Do this is the life. This is just life. life. Okay, so so a young lady walks in there, obviously uh, no discipline. You know, we I mean, don't want to run her off I, Right, right. So I'm surprised she's attracted to it, but maybe she has a deep desire to change mm -hmm. and she is is obviously leaving nothing to the imagination okay how do you bring her into the realization that there's better for her but you know what sometimes you well, don't have connect to the dots connect the like dots. lady gilmore just said you know you come in here and you see to the and you start buttoning up Okay, because you see, she starts feeling uh, you know uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable. Around, Nobody's yeah. sure around the mothers these, here. Yes, yeah. okay. all these thighs. You know, they use their instincts. Once okay. you see ladies looking like that, they want to look like that too. But nobody ever taught them. But I see it now, so I'm going to button up, okay. and pull my skirt down, and take these four inches. You, you kick them over to okay. the side, and you sit there barefooted. Mm -hmm. You know, you women. A lot of women. You don't have to teach them. Show them. Okay. Just show them. So and a lot of a them know it already. Right. But it's fears. Right. 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 I want to look like her. No, you don't. Right. And they're also in our organization. We have doctors, lawyers, business women. So they as, they can they aspire to be them and be like them. But, but do they feel comfortable around these highfalutin folk? They're not high. No, they're high. 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 They're yeah, all she, ages. And, 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 all uh, ages. Yes. And we are all, we're all black women. So we, we, we invite them. We love them. Let them know we love them. Well, now, now, now one thing I, I'm, I'm noticing on, on, your, on your beautiful poster there, um, you have several words, commitment, unity, and, and self-reliance. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the area of unity, is there collaborations with other organizations? Yes. Like Address for Success or... Or any yeah, of those to, to help, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the women that come to you get more, you know, help getting a job and help dressing properly and, mm -hmm. and, and all that. Do you guys collaborate with anyone else other than yourselves? We collaborate yes. with Dress for Success. We're in, uh, we collaborate with lots of sororities. Okay. Uh, top ladies of distinction. Oh, okay. Oh, we yeah. have members there. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, we are out there with other organizations to show these young women you can be somebody. They can make it. You can be somebody. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We um, we have um, a collaboration with the HBCUs. Okay. They're going to have a college fair in Warrensville. And we've been over at Maple Heights. Hey, do you know about No. Come on. Cool. November 21st. Right. Do you guys have cotillions and stuff like that too? Do you give no. special? No, no. But uh, we have a fancy member, fancy. Wendy. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy has uh, uh, the, the the bride. Uh, the yeah, the, the bride. The, yeah. Uh, the bridal. She mm -hmm. prepares them for the prom. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And you can get shoes, gloves, gowns, wow. tiaras. Wow. I mean, Very Wendy diamond. can. Herbie. Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. Wendy okay. owns it. Mm -hmm. She's done it more than 20 yes, years. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so the that's, different that's a motivation. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
gowns that you couldn't afford. No. Okay. That I can't afford. Yeah. You know, and all you've got to do is wherever she's holding it, it's posted. Okay. And we'll go in and help her as sales clerks. Okay. And all you got to do is come. You get stock and shoes, the whole nine pearls, wow. and men, everything, and young men. Wow. Um, yeah. The men get you have things for the men clothing. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, that sir. is wonderful. In fact, oh, yeah. the floor where she is, it takes up over half the building. Mm. Oh yeah. And I'm talking about nine West shoes. We mm -hmm. don't donate, donate goods. Donate goods. Uh, and the right. schools let us know. Let Sister Wendy, the schools pastor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let Sister Wendy know who the candidates are. And okay. all of this is hush-hush. Mm -hmm. uh, they come at appointment time. Yeah. And they do their selection. And nobody know that Sister Michelle had went to Sister Wendy's store. Okay. Instead of going to Dillard's or some of those right. stores. And the, and the Caucasian women yeah. even are welcome. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It's not mm -hmm. just us. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, Wendy has done a magnificent uh, job. And in our group, we have donated a complete outfit all the way down to shoes for dress for success. Okay. Coat, the outfit, knee highs, the shoes. Mm -hmm. What you about know? the coats it's, for it's kids? Yeah. The coats for kids yeah, as we well. Have, we uh, collect gently worn right. coats right. for kids, women, boys, girls, and we donate them where they're needed. Okay. Can't be anything you don't like or right. don't right. want. Don't want, right? Right. This is an outfit that right. somebody else is gonna wear to an interview. Right. right. And sister, you get and, and sister Joy, Doctor Joy. Oh, do Joy. we oh, have a uh, yeah, yeah yes. Doctor yes. Joy Jordan. Yes. She's uh, and she donates her time in Haiti. Uh, with her dental work, she just came back from Haiti mm -hmm. uh, with all her goods. She went over, you know, underprivileged children. She's okay. doing dental work. And she yes. collects clothes, and um, I donate suitcases, uh, mm -hmm. whatever she needs. Yeah, okay. toothbrushes, toothpaste. Yes. To take to the children in Haiti. What is it that you all need to take you to that next level, your next goal? Hmm. Uh, mm. Support. Yes. Support. Sponsors. Uh, sponsors. Be specific. Sponsors. We have a luncheon coming up. Okay. Next month. March. Um, yeah, we have a luncheon coming up. Okay. It's going to be November the 14th, uh, Saturday at the Embassy Suite Hotel. Okay. And our speaker is going to be Congresswoman Marsha Fudge. Mm -hmm. Um. We're going to be celebrating okay. our 80th, our NCNW's 80th anniversary. And um, our celebration, we're going to be honoring our founders and past presidents. You know, you go to homegoing services and you hear all these mm -hmm. wonderful things about that person that, you know, is no longer here. So what we're going to do, we're going to tell you thank you while you're living. Amen. Thank Amen. you for... And, and that's how we did the soup and scoop. Yes. My mother says... I said always, give me my flowers while I yet live. Okay. So Marjorie came up with the idea that we honor our past presidents. Okay. And our founders. And Dee Wooten is our sister in the organization. She's a printer. And she made that flyer. And um, Marjorie made it, Dee cleaned it up, put okay. it out, okay. and did a marvelous job. Dee is the connection to Cuyahoga community to the School of the Arts and they are our entertainment and if you are not busy as we know Lady Gilmore will be there you should be there they have an orchestra of children that you would not believe Wow! I mean jazz gospel they play it all now get down there one more time get down there one time what about the women in prisons. Well, we have not okay. made our way there yet. We, no. We're no. After well, hundred years, y'all ain't made no, it to no, prison. No. Okay. But, no. Wait. Right now, we're working on the people out here. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. We're working on wait, wait. these women out here. Okay. Now, well, if you are in the prison and you come to the halfway house, we can help you now. Okay. But we have not gone. 
to the presence. Okay, well, well we have on. Sister Clover. Uh, now, oh. Clover works Ox. at Orange mm. at that pre release center. Pre release center, right, right. Right there. Mm -hmm. it's post office. And um, she worked there for maybe four or five years and prepared them as they're coming out and sent them. To, to us, us. So your that is, houses. No, no, to, to us, us. To our organization. organization. Okay. Right after they are released, and and do you give them a place to stay? I mean, what do you? Well, they were already released to a halfway house. Okay, okay. Yeah, once they make the halfway house, we have gone in and given them clothes. Perfumes, mm -hmm. stockings, and things. Okay, things that make feel like a woman. Like, like a woman. Like like a woman. woman. Right, we right. even purchase toys for the children. Okay. You know, because some of them do have kids. Right. You know, some of them leave. Uh, we've done the homeless shelter for the women that leave in flight. Okay. You know, where we can't know where it is. Right. Because the husband or the man may follow them. That was last week's show. Yes. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Domestic yeah. violence. Oh, yeah. yeah. Domestic okay. violence. Domestic violence. Yeah. yeah. And so, Denise uh, there's a contact that we can get the clothes to or the money or whatever, and she will get it to them. Okay. You know, once uh, the woman comes out and slips and says, I'm staying at wherever, mm -hmm. all that has to be moved. Now, do you think, and, and this is just... My audience wants to know when I say that's really me. Yeah, we know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the word Negro. Okay. Isn't that sort of dated? I can speak on that. I'm the so, oldest. Are you the oldest? In the organization. In the organization. Talk to And I'm almost oldest. You can talk to Go ahead. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I'm almost oldest. It came before one of the conventions in the late 80s in Washington. Mm -hmm. The motion was put on the floor to change us from National Council of Negro Women to black women and Dorothy Height was totally opposed because that was the name that Mary McLeod Bethune gave us. Not National Council of Colored Women, but we had made it to be Negroes. And in her honor, we pay homage and we are still National Council of Negro Women. She's dead. Uh, yeah. She's dead. She's gone. But we're not. And neither is her organization. Okay, so 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. For pastors. Now, so if know. I go, so if I come and say, hey, hey, Negroes, how y'all Negroes doing? For you would just be fine with that, Pastor. Let it give me a look. Come on, let it give me Pastor, aren't we? Aren't we Negroes? Aren't we Afro Americans? Aren't we African Americans? See, we're all of that. Not, we're not, not one thing. We're all the same of that. person. Everybody got a different name for us. Now. I don't have a different name for myself. No, no, I am uh -huh. a Negro. I'm not colored. What color are you? Are you green? No. No, no. I'm I don't, a Negro. I don't either, no. How about I'm African not American? A, I'm right. not an African American. Right. Who made I you an African? am a Negro. I am African. Who made you an African? Well, I'm from Cameroon. So well, I know I'm, what my ancestors I'm, I'm, I'm a Cameroonian American. <laughs> but, but Everybody but, is not from Africa right. or have ancestors. Connected. Well, no, I'm just about, I mean, about connecting no, with the other people. Why does it have? Why can't it be the Council of Women? Because, because that's we are the National, National Council, Council of Negro Women. It's like women. there's an organization, the National Council of Jewish Women. Okay, Jewish Women. Uh huh. Okay. Keep. But we are National Council of Negro Women, okay. which and is the name that Mary McLeod. In 1935, and there were no African Americans. They right. were Negro women. But that's what I'm saying. Back so in 1935, are we going to change this tomorrow? Are we going to change this tomorrow? What we, what, what's the fresh new? You know, you got commitment, <laughs> unity, reliance. I mean, we we're in 2015. My audience wants to know. Okay. Okay. Audience. What can we do to to get us to the next step and not be Negroes no more? I believe as long as there is a national council. We are going to be Negroes. We will be Negroes. I'm going to always be I'm going to be a vote for it. Well you, well, you know Negro means <laughs> black. We stand on our legacy. Mm -hmm. Okay, is your legacy is important. Yeah, now, this and, is it, and, this and, is and it. it's this foundational, it. sir. So I'm going to say this: mm -hmm. National Council of Negro Women. You don't, you don't change. You can't change history. Can't change history. You can't change history. So okay. it's history. Okay. So that's why the name is like that. But why we, but we changed. as a people, okay. 
we have evolved. We some we yeah. have uh, fires. We have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have evolved from we, we from, from colored <laughs> to Negro Sorry. to Afro. Mm-hmm. To mm-hmm. Afro American, mm-hmm. to African American, because mm-hmm. we are our descendants are in, in from Africa. We are descendants from Africa. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Well, I, I just want to make sure y'all was all tight and and right, and everybody's and in agreement Negroes. with being Negroes. Oh, we fine. Okay, with y'all fine with it. We, we, yes. Negro women. That's our history. Our that is our history. Yeah. Council okay. of Negro women. That's our legacy. Amen. Amen. That no is one your challenges legacy. the other organization because they stand firm on it. This is. This is part of the meat and the potatoes. The well, NAACP, NAACP stands for what? National Advanced Social Studies. Of color. And they're going to stay colored. They haven't changed from color. They ain't going to change from color. No, no, no color. The doors of the revolution, the doors of the uh, American Revolution, mm-hmm. they're not going to change either, are they? The Ku Klux Klan's not going to change, are they? Well, they done changed. They done changed their... To the Tea Party? No, they did that and some other things. Police officers and everything, but I'm not going to do that. Um... I just love my past because we have to have that that male. Well, was making the show um, mm-hmm. coming in because oh, they'll email and pastor and myself and I say, well, why didn't you guys address so and so and so and so? Are you afraid to talk? No, we're not. Mm-hmm. It's just so much information that we want to put out there because mm-hmm. our babies are listening. Mm-hmm. They are at home right now, going on KZTV, clicking to watch this show. And it's part of education. So when someone calls my baby, African American, black, or whatever, they'll be able to say, Mm -hmm. I was first Negro. And if they watch your show and really question what NCNW is about, it's the fourth Saturday of every month. Madam President said, Maple Maple Heights Library, Library. 4225 Maple Heights Lane. Maple Heights, Ohio, ten o'clock. Hey, Amen. Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I am very, very uh, uh, happy to have had you all here um, because I honestly never heard of the National Council of Negro Women, and you that's what that we're trying. Now, I know. To. Now I know. And we're always trying to put our footprint out there, yes. so everyone will know yes. about the National Council of Negro Women and our advocacy for women of African American right. descent. So, but I don't have to be a Christian, no, to no. to come to your no. organization, no. organization no, no. to get aid from you no. or, or anything of that. We're not going to ask you if you are a Christian. Okay. You just want to know. Be in need. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just, just be in need. But right. you know and what? Before this is over, we're going to ask you if you'd be an associate of ours. We do take males. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. And, and now, as we were saying earlier, there are three sections. And each of us meet on a different Saturday. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Cuyahoga County meets the first Saturday. If that's not convenient, then the second Saturday is the Cleveland section. We are the fourth Saturday. Uh, once you are a member of the National Council of Negro Women, you can become a life member. So, and this is a charter that you have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. I think she has the, the, the Robin Rules of Order. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The Bible. Yeah. 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 This is the Bible. Uh, that's the Bible. This Bible is Bible. the Bible, and these are the bylaws. Your bylaws. Yeah. All yeah. sections. Okay. What? From the Bible and the Bible. And I mean, we're all over. We're in Youngstown. Right. We're in Lorraine. When's the National Convention? Dusty. When is your Next year convention? in August. Where at? It's going to be in Washington. In D.C. Mm-hmm. Yes. At the home, at the home office? No, no, Sears no. Power. We are just no. too many for that. Oh, oh. Uh, last Mission year, Center. oh yeah, no, no. Last year we were at the Gaylord Hotel okay. in National Harbor. And now we're moving back to Washington. Okay. Uh, they have not said it's at the Hilton, but I'm pretty sure it will be because uh, the uh, Dr. Heights, uh, Common Heights dinner is going to be hell there okay. uh, in November. And there are thousands oh, of women God. that attend from right. all over the country. All yes. over, everywhere. Yes. It's how, much is, how much is membership? Membership is $40. $30 goes to national. $10 comes to the section. Okay. That's what we survive on is that $10. Mm. Right. So therefore we have to have fundraisers and big sponsors. Okay. 
Because what can you do on ten dollars? Okay. And you pay assessments, fair share. Uh, fair share assessments. Okay. Is, mm-hmm. is membership collected? Uh, yearly, yearly. It's, yeah. annual, it's, an, annual it's an annual membership. membership. Yes, we try yes. to collect uh, dues every January. Every January. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, sponsors. Let, let's let's try to get you some sponsors. Please do. All right. <laughs> In regards to sponsorship and, and and getting sponsors, is there a collective effort on the national part, or is it done by each individual chapter? Each section. It's sections. 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 sections, not okay. chapters. Okay, Each section. Yeah, we do it by individual sections. Okay. Yes. So the Western Reserve goes out and collects its own sponsors. Yes. yes. Correct. And Cuyahoga will do theirs, and Cleveland will do theirs. Well, see, now, y'all talking about unity. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold up. Why now, is there a Cuyahoga, Cleveland, and the Western Reserve, and when y'all can come together, meaning you have more numbers... And when you go to a sponsor, you can say, okay, well, in Ohio or in Cleveland, we have, or in the county, we have over 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 women, ho- however it is, mm-hmm. in our char- chapter, as, as you said, or section. Or section. Mm-hmm. Now a sponsor is like, hmm. So that means when you print up your flyers and I can get my, my name put on there, mm-hmm. I'm going to be seen by so many thousand of, of women. But you have that same opportunity. All three of us has a luncheon. And you can sponsor each one. You can buy ads in our journal. Okay. And get the same exposure. Uh, we have a clientele. They have a clientele. They have a clientele. Okay. We have Founders Day together. Okay. Which is in December. It's the second Sunday. So y'all collaborate. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Kwanzaa oh, together. We have, we have Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa together. Kwanzaa. Our Kwanzaa is December the 29th at the Maple Heights Library. Okay. All three sections will be together. Okay. Yeah, okay. we do things together. Okay. We're just three different sections. And we support each event, too. We support each other. We support oh, yeah, each other. we support each other. Yeah, Cleveland section is the oldest. Cleveland. Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And Cuyahoga, the different parts of the people. city. That's okay, what it is. Okay, okay, help me. And y'all be honest with me. Okay, well, of course. Y'all be honest with me. Cleveland's the oldest. Mm-hmm. Yes, the oldest. They section. were first. The they, they were first. They they first here in, in in Ohio. I'm assuming, or at least in this area. Well, we're, well, we're doing why three, three, we all we're three. before the others too. What happened? What happened? Uh, what, happened? Uh, what happened? Why didn't everybody just stay in Cleveland? Why do we got the Western Reserve, Cuyahoga County? Why couldn't we just all be clean? Well, that's just y'all sound like the church. That's just yeah. like we got ready. Correct. Channel five. So we got me down in the corner. We had Burger King. Then we had Red Lobster. Then we have Rally. So we have a variety. But that's the thing. Y'all got to understand. All of the National Council of Negro Women. That's yes, that's correct. Our section is the youngest section. And believe it or not, three members from the Cleveland section started broke off. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely that's right. What I, that's yes. what I was trying to get at. That's well, what here happened. we are. Here we are. The the fight or an argument, they, no. they wanted to start another section. And, and that's what it's about, growing. Growing. Expanding. Look at you and I, Pastor. Mm-hmm. Where did we start at? This is KZ Radio. All right, then. Cleveland's right. online inspiration station has been for the past 10 years. Ain't no KZ Western Reserve. Ain't no KZ Kyle <laughs> County. Ain't no K- no, I'm just making a uh-huh. point. Yeah, I'm I making a point. If you want sponsors, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sponsors look at the numbers. How many people's in your organization? And if they, if you're telling them you've got 1,000 or 3,000, they're like, cool. You tell them i got got 100. I got about 50. Then they might know. You must have 50 to maintain a charter. Right. If you right. do not have 50 members, you cannot be chartered. Right. So you at least have 50 members. Yeah, yeah you, you have, have to have, have 50. Have to have 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 you must maintain. You, have, you maintain. must maintain 50 mm-hmm. act, act, right. active members and three Dream affiliates. Three members and three affiliates. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm not coming down oh, on you guys. Oh, no, no. This is great. I'm not coming down on you guys. No. I think this is great, but I want you to be stronger than normal. And stronger than normal. We yeah. try stronger than normal. Normal, mm-hmm. and I would pray that there's some sort of drive 
at, from my folks at the Western Reserve section to bring in more women in all the other sections. A drive. All of us have membership, membership drives. drives. Yeah, 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 we yeah. all. But I wish y'all had a best membership drive. And we oh, and we tried. We hope that this show will help us. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I want y'all to have a best membership yeah. drive because yeah. it is definitely needed. Oh, it's it's needed. It's sure. definitely needed. It's, and it's and needed. and as you do this, God's hand is upon you because you're loving on people. That's the key. Yeah, His hand is on everything that we do. Come on, because y'all love folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. love folk. Yeah. Amen. That's, that's, why, I mean, that's, that's, why, that's why you're doing this. That's yeah. why you're volunteering for this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Our time. Y'all got salaries. You get salaries. Y'all get big salaries. No. no. Volunteer. Volunteer. No. Volunteer. Volunteer. No. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm Everything talking about. Everything we do is a volunteer. volunteer. Um, I just want to say, and I'm going to try not to get emotional because um, Mother, um, I can't remember. Mother Barnett. Mother Barnett. Mother, Mother Barnett. Barnett. She was one feisty young lady at yeah. how old, Madam Big Sister? She passed uh, November 3rd, 2012 at 89. 89. Wow. And yeah. the last conversation, because we do a voting drive as well, you know, passing our literature to yeah. make sure they vote. And Mother took my hand. She said, pretty girl, you going to vote? I said, yes, ma'am. Yeah. She said, let me tell you, baby, I'm going to vote. Because I was there when we couldn't vote. Yes, yeah, she did. She said, I was there when I had to look at them and see us beat, mm. knocked down, yeah. mistreated. Yes. And she had, she locked her hand into mine. She says, baby, to the day you die, I want you to vote. I said, yes, ma'am. Amen. And, she, and Mother... Um, Barnett was on Tuesday. That's Tuesday. We yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday. No, it was the same Tuesday. thing the year she passed. Mm-hmm. That Friday, it was still early voting, mm -hmm. and she said, um, Which was I said, let's go eat. And she said, no, I got to go vote. Mm. I said, okay, but let's go <laughs> eat. <laughs> she said, no, I need to go vote. Mm. And it's amazing. She took herself and went and voted. She passed on Saturday. Election was on mm. Tuesday. On Tuesday. Well, Just think, her vote would not vote. have counted. Mm -hmm. She got that vote in. That's and right. was a I member of the National Ooh. Council Negro yeah. Women Western, Western Reserve, Reserve Section. Section. Well, yeah. we still have to give accolades to Cuyahoga County because my mom is 92 years That's old right. and she is an active member and of her the Cuyahoga Section mm -hmm. of the National Council of Negro Women. Okay. Yes, That's right. And your mom still drive, doesn't she? Yeah, she drives. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah she wow. drives. Just bought her a new car. Said she ain't got time to wait on nobody coming <laughs> nowhere. I know that's yeah. right. And and could you imagine us sharing this with our young members? Absolutely. The, the young I see ladies coming history. in. I see it's it. a you lot know, of history in our. So country. much history that Judge Sarah J. Harper. She's my mentor. Amen. She's been my mentor for she's years. She's our member. And she's, and she's our, our member. member and one of our founders. Mm -hmm. We will be recognizing her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the lunch. At the lunch. Yes. Was, um, Judge Capers belongs to the Cleveland section. Was Stephanie Tubbs a part of your organization? She belongs yes. to Cleveland. Yes. Cleveland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Judge Pinky Carr. Pink belongs to us. us. She belongs to y'all. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, y'all got yeah, right. Johnson. Y'all got everybody. All that power. All that power in the city of Cleveland. And you, you think all I, that I, power. I hope y'all were unified. Yes. Yo, I yeah. hope y'all were unified. All that. That's a lot of power. A lot mm -hmm. of powerful women mm -hmm. in this organization that can do a whole lot of good. Mm -hmm. Do you all, before we close, we're about to, out of time, do you have a local regional uh, meeting between the different sections. We have a state meeting twice a year. Twice a year, that's good. Mm -hmm. yes. April and October. State coalition. coalition so state yes. coalition, and you yes. all put plans together. And yes. yes. And officers are there. Officers. And, uh, and work workshops. Gloria Chapman served for many, 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 many years oh, many as the years. Ohio State convener. Okay. And she passed about three years ago, mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. You know, so, yes, we, we do many oh, things yes. together. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to hear. That's because I see the word unity up there. Just oh, yeah. We that, we're, we're together. I, I'm not too on self-reliance, but that's another show. Okay. Um, okay. I, that's I, another uh, show. That's another show. we got to have y'all back to talk about self-reliance. Thank you. We will. Okay. Well, thank you very much well, for having you, us. Well, thank you. Any last thank words you, you want to give to your viewing audience today? How I enjoy the fireside chat. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I believe it. in taking it from black and white. And, just, and making it real because there's somebody at home 
that's not going to understand school founder Mary opened her school with four students. They want to hear what are we doing today from her legacy? What have we learned? Are we carrying a baton or are we dropping it? And what uh, Queen Mother Mary loved was education. 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 It's all and about even education. How she went back mm -hmm. and still her own husband left her. Yes, he did. Because she was so involved. Go ahead, That's historian. True. Yes, she did. And when we want to say to our audience, grab hold of the National Council, Negro Women. Western Reserve section. We need to talk about the luncheon, give them the date and the time, and where it's going to be at, Madam President. Um, the lunch, our luncheon will be set Saturday, November the 14th. We will be at the Embassy Suite at 3775 Park East Drive, Beachwood, Ohio. Um, tickets are $40. You are all welcome. We will spend the afternoon with our Congresswoman, Marsha Fudge. And our children. And our children from the Cleveland School of the Arts Lower Campus. The band, the choir, and the drama team will be our entertainment. Oh, and yeah. to find out more about us, is, come to the Maple uh, Heights uh, Library. Come to the Maple Heights Library at 5225 Library Lane, Maple Heights, Ohio, 44137, fourth Saturday of every month at 10 o'clock. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Now, did now you turn it on? Let's be pulled back up.